four years ago, I suffered depression from work and had to leave work and put on sick leave. But uh, an old friend of mine who was a teacher at my old school uh, suggested that I had a go at volunteering. Now, he works at Blackburn Museums and suggested that I get in contact with the Imperial War Museum. They interviewed me, um, gave me a position, and I've never really looked back since and enjoyed my time here. just one reason really, there were several reasons that sort of merged together at the same time and I suppose the first thing that triggered it off was sitting at an elderly relative's funeral, listening to all the wonderful things they'd done throughout their life, the charity work and this and that and I just suddenly thought, what have I been doing, you know. Uh, for over 20 years I've worked in a factory uh, based environment which is not interesting at all. Uh, to come to a museum and learn new, new things every day is, is uh, not only really interesting, but it's also a really good boost to your self-esteem. It's very good for building confidence. As being a volunteer, what I really enjoy is the live animal session. We actually have a variant in the museum. Uh, we've got snakes, frogs, lizards, chameleons and stuff. And it's a great uh, opportunity to be able to talk to people and learn new facts about animals all the time. Whilst we've been on the course, we've got to um, work on the handling table. Um, I worked with the um, Egyptian artefacts, um, helping customers learn all about um, the objects. Um, we've also done first aid qualification. We've been trained up by the Welcome International, where we get to learn how to address uh, tourists within the, the museum and cultural sector. I kind of gained experience, I gained professional contacts, friendship as well, like loads of the volunteer uh, became friends and we now have loads of other projects together. So again, loads, I don't know how to describe this, so much we... I came down to Victoria Baths probably about six, seven years ago with my wife and immediately fell in love with the place. It just when you walk in it, it just gives you, a, not, perhaps not today, but a nice warm feeling. Yeah, we started this uh, October uh, 2009 and we meet every four weeks. Every Sunday we come down and, uh, and we volunteer, yeah. And the idea is to learn the art of stained glass. You know, this, this door here, three of these four panels have been replaced by our stained glass team. Well, partially, because I'm often on the friend's desk where people come and sign up. Partially it's trying to encourage people who are so enthused about their visit to join and contribute either as a volunteer but monetarily and so on. Well when I retired three years ago I retired from full-time work 43 years in the NHS uh, and I felt Really, it gave me something to get up for and get up get, as though you were going out to work one morning. And I kind of feel sometimes I should be able to go and talk on retirement courses and say, you know, please volunteer for your local art gallery. They need your skills. like to do a good job, don't you? Well, uh, yeah. Mm. You've done the inside yet? Yeah? Oh, good. Here we are, we're going to do that next. A great deal, and we gained a lot of qualifications in MBQ, and most recent one is in mentoring, so I'm a fully uh, trained volunteer now to help the new volunteers. Um, I do other volunteering and I have gained qualifications there as well. So it was a springboard from this. We're going to schools and um, talk to them about our career choices, what we've done with our lives, how we've got our careers. And we also carry out some activities in school, science activities, which sort of um, infuses the young ones about science. 
as well as um, working in a completely different environment, but meeting um, people who are as keen as I am to inspire young people about sciences. Um, on the first day of training, which we've got a qualified certificate for, um, we learned how to do CPR, um, we learned how to um, deal with um, an emergency situation, um, and out of that we've actually got a qualification. I would say try. Uh, I didn't expect to actually uh, be taken on uh, for that. I hoped I would be, but I was very interested and I thoroughly enjoyed it all the time I've been here. It's been very interesting. I would say go for it. Like if you want to volunteer, go for it. It's just, it's just a brilliant way to, to, to meet loads of people. I would definitely say go for it because you learn new stuff all the time. You're in a really great environment. Uh, it can be educational as well as just being fun and you get to learn all sorts of new social skills and the ability to meet new people all the time. I think the volunteering that I started doing has just, it sounds like an exaggeration, but it's definitely changed my life because uh, I now have two paid jobs. I'm much more confident within the workplace. I've had so many different experiences, met loads of interesting people and I think you know gained a lot of skills that have helped me sort of go back to work as well. But I had loads of fun. I mean the transferable skills, you'll always benefit by volunteering, like the increased confidence and the people that you meet as well. You never know what they might tell you about future jobs. From the back end of the museum, I've done computer engineering courses, changed my career path and now I'm looking for a better future.